Tyler Adams and Weston McKinney stood out in an action-packed weekend for the Americans in Bundesliga. We'll break it all down next on Americana Abroad. Hello, people. I'm Alexi Lalas, filling in as your third string host here third in the beer cellar. Generous. Man, third it is the generous. bottom of the barrel they are <laughs> scraping here. Warren Burton over here, Stu Holden with me. We're going to go over match day 22 for the red, white, and blue. We have a start with Tyler Adams, of course. Just celebrated his 20th birthday. What were you doing, Warren, on your 20th birthday? Anyway, his 20th you was on Valentine's Day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After his latest performance against Leipzig, it's hard not to fall in love with this kid. Stu. Talk to us about this player. Hot take. He's the hottest American at the moment uh, by far because Christian Pulisic is injured. Josh Sargent playing off the bench. Tyler Adams has slipped straight into this Leipzig team. And I think, look, yes, you're seeing the benefit of having been in a system with the New York Rebels and now going to RB Leipzig. But he's fitting into a good team and he's making an instant impact, the stuff he's doing around the field. And why I think this system suits him so well is it uses and maximizes his tools. So. That's energy. It's getting around the ball. It's being in good positions tactically and then making the right passes, which he's doing so often in this game. And, and even the industry right now to get up down this right-hand side. But this is the one I love the most. He gets a little fortunate here, but now drive into the middle of the field. Awareness with the little cutback pass. So he opened up the space to slip it in for Yusuf Polson, who then finished off the chance. But it's been so great to see a 20-year-old Tyler Adams that just – Look like he's been playing 200, 300 Bundesliga games and showing experience and, and being now almost an in, not indispensable yet part of this team, but a player that they know they can trust and Ralph Ragnick can trust at, at Leipzig. But it doesn't surprise you after what he did in the MLS and he's gone in there with you know the, the comfort of knowing the system, knowing what he's doing. But what's really impressed me is his composure. He wants to play, he's aggressive, he's got a good nature about how he trains. And at the end of the day, he could be a permanent fixture for this for many, many years to come. He's been quite outstanding, but it doesn't surprise me when you know about the boy, how he wants to work, how he wants to train, and then going forward. All right, well, we got more Americans doing well. Another young American receiving attention? Ah, oh, Weston McKinney keeps getting deployed in that different position on the field each and every week. At least he's on the he field. He hasn't played goalkeeper positions. yet. Hey, he's a lot of different positions. <laughs> yeah. It's good he's on the field. On Saturday, he filled in at right back against Freiburg Warren. Uh, you were a right back back in your day. How do you think he did? Allegedly. He did very well. Uh, and he's played in that position before. We, I think you see him more as a hold midfield player or as a number eight. He can play in that position. But he's shown versatility. Uh, he's got good temperament again, the way he plays. He doesn't get caught out too many times, the ball over the top. So his positional sense is, is pretty good. You know he's going to make a tackle because that's a big, big part of his game. So I think what he's been able to do, being that versatile, is understanding key positions, where to have that positional sense, where to close down and where to shut off the gap. So the midfield area, I think, long term is where it's going to be him and obviously the US national team. But there's no problem here that he's quite able to close down. And as I said, his positional sense has been good. One-on-one -on -one situation, he's been in total control. Uh, again, last experience now in different positions and getting very comfortable in the Bundesliga. Yeah, I, I would say, Warren, you know, we, we talk about this a lot. Sometimes it could be a negative playing a lot of positions. I think for his age right now, especially being in the Bundesliga, it's a bonus that he's trusted by his manager. And Schalke are a mess across the field, but he is consistently playing. So you'd like to see him get those experiences, whether it's right back, as a center back, as a holding midfielder, as an attacking midfielder, as a striker where he played this year. So what's his best position? But I, He's a number eight in, in, in my yeah. mind, and that's where he needs to become elite. He's not elite at that position yet, especially in the Bundesliga or even with the national team. I wouldn't say he's a lock at, at that position. But as he continues to develop, I think this will benefit him having a picture of the field and understanding tactically to be flexible. So, so you know, you played in that position and, and actually you played international. He's good at a lot of things, but not exceptional. And I think that may be the only thing. It's not a downfall on the kid. It's not a criticism about the kid because he plays in different positions and does it well. But he's not exceptional at being a number eight. He's not exceptional being a number six, but he's obviously playing regularly in the Bundesliga, which is great credit to him. All right, so Adams McKinney leading the way, but three other Americans played all 90 minutes this weekend. John Brooks bounced back from a rough outing against Freiburg as Wolfsburg won a big game against Mainz. Alfredo Morales still starting and losing games with Dusseldorf, but he's playing. It's a positive. It's yeah, positive. It, it is. <laughs> Fabian Johnson made his first appearance for Gladbach since December. And last but not least, oh, yes, possessor of the mutant gene, an American Josh Sargent getting some minutes against Bremen. He's now appeared in all of their Bundesliga games in 2019, and this weekend he certainly made an impact. Sargent winning this free kick for Bremen in the dying seconds against Hertha Berlin, and then the legend Claudio Pizarro stepped up to score the equalizer, becoming the league's oldest ever goal scorer. Oh, so Sargent playing a small part in some Bundesliga history.
You can watch Sargent and Werder Bremen again this Friday as they kick off Match Day 23 against Stuttgart on FS2. On Saturday, a pair of Americans go head-to-head on Fox Soccer Plus. Fabian Johnson and Gladbach hosting John Brooks and Wolfsburg. Bobby Wood and Hanover take on Frankfurt Sunday on FS1. And on Monday, Tyler Adams, we just talked about him, and his Leipzig host, Hoffenheim, on FS2. We will talk to you again next weekend. Until then, I'll beat us in.